Hello everybody, here we are back again with Ike and Me Gaming, about to go into campaign number four. One of the main opponents of my dream that night was the manufacturer. I knew I could not underestimate her. During... You sure took your time getting here. I don't tolerate sloppiness like that in my company. Now you work for Collis Potter Huntington. And I didn't help create the first two transcontinental railroad routes by ever allowing mediocrity. We will make history. After all, I didn't buy up the Texas and New Orleans Railroad for the hell of it. When we're done here, a single railroad will stretch from the Atlantic to the Pacific. The first of its kind. I shall call it the Sunset Route. Your job will be to take care of the last stretch of the route. The heart of it, so to speak. From Austin to the mouth of the Mississippi. I have a huge project to oversee, so I'll give you plenty of elbow room. The Texas and New Orleans is a shadow of what it once was. The old glory has sunk into the swamp, and only East Texas has a small remnant left. This is where you start. Create a foundation for us to build on. All right, well, let's see what we got to do here. We need five rural businesses to your rail network and reach 90,000 citizens in the East Texas region. And he's already conducted a train station in Austin, so we can use that. So Austin, Houston, and Beaumont are part of the region. Let's just take an overview look here. So North Texas is off limits. We can't buy that red if we wanted to, so that's fine for now. Louisiana is also off limits and everything past it because it was touched so we're what we do have is a train in Beaumont or a station in Beaumont, one in Houston, and one here at Thompson train station. So we do have that. This is a private train operator that we can buy for three fifty. And there's wheat on one end, wood on the other. We do get a hundred thousand bonus for the wood in 125 days. That meets off limits. We have Del Rio Station that I believe is no, nope, that's out of limits. San Antonio's out of limits till we buy this concession. These two have connection bonuses. Once again, we can't get on them till we buy the concession. And Brownsville also has the connection bonus. So we almost need to grab all of that and there's really nothing else we can get out of here and there is Oklahoma up there once again we can't get out of Arkansas Alabama Mississippi way over there so just look into here <clears throat> I'd say we have to buy this so now we got we want to get all the connection bonuses so we got Brownsville we got our meat Austin makes meat, San Antonio makes meat. That's really dumb how they got two there. And then Houston and Beaumont, by the way, both make alcohol. Corpus Christi makes alcohol. Browns Row makes meat. Okay, so if we put these two together, that could be a little cluster. And maybe Austin to Houston could be one. And Beaumont to Houston are making the same thing. Austin to San Antonio is making the same thing. San Antonio to Corpus Christi could work too. Alright, without further ado, I'm going to get to building here. What we accomplished so far was we basically blew up everything that was there. So then we took, first thing we had to do, of course, was connect these two. So we put an express station in, going up to Beaumont. We skipped this. So we kept it on the right-hand side because really there's no freight down here. We put our supply stations in, have a train of four cannot, just one. We just went single at first till we get everything connected. We also have Houston to Corpus Crispy, same idea. Corpus Christi, not crispy. And we have a fork knot on that. And then also express and then Corpus Christi down to Brownsville. Also express. Same side. Express train on that. So we still have this little bit. We own Robert's terminal this or have a station there. So I'm just looking at this. So we have wood up here. We have cattle, corn. We're just trying to think. Oma and Houston really don't make a good connection, honestly. 
Austin, Houston Wood, San Antonio, the Corpus Christi Wood, Christy, my goodness, Brownsville, the Corpus Christi Wood, make one. It's almost like these three cities, although San Antonio making meats useless, and these three cities maybe, like two separate hubs is what I'm thinking. Maybe a hub up here somewhere. Maybe this grain, possibly. Because then we'd have our sugar. The grain would already be there. We'd have wood. We can't get at milk anyways. There's no milk on this map. Then down here, we could do it at the corn, possibly. Or, well, actually, the, uh, the fruit would be a good spot. The fruit, I think. Fruit there. And the... The grain here would be good. Is it doing it? Or we could do it on the vegetable. The vegetable, and then it would go in. So everything would come down here. And that would come down here. Then feed it in Houston. Feed it through the Beaumont. Kind of like this one better. So let's let's tracks crisscross. And I think we'll go with that. This is what we come up with for our first hunt. Johnson Station. It's already got grain, so we're good that way. So we're bringing in sugar. We're bringing in Nolan with wood. We got our Imam Rest up here coming in with just corn because they don't need cattle. So that will give us four of our main things that we need at the beginning. So you're going to have one, two, three, four. So we're still not going to have cloth. They already make alcohol, so we're going to need meat somehow. And that's what we come up with there. So now the next thing to do is to put a station over here. I'll give it lots of room. And this is going to just go up and connect there. I am relieved to see that you can probably at least tell a wheel from a chimney. That seems easy enough. So five rural businesses are connected. Now we need to grow our region to 90,000 is the next thing. I hooked up Houston and Boma on single lines. So they're getting all these four goods from Johnson Station. So let's just let things roll here for a bit. Can't do a whole lot more at the moment. Just wait for our connection bonuses to roll in. In order for the connection bonus to count for Imam breeding, I had to kick a line over the San Antonio. So I have a freight line here in San Antonio getting their cattle. They're probably getting corn through that too, of course. Austin now has a freight line coming from our main cluster here. So, and I can't move the station either. This one won't let me move it. This is a private operator, so I'll have to buy that eventually. Get them out of the way. So that's why this next cluster makes sense to be here. I would say we already own that station. So then we'd have to bring our sugar down. And we'd have to bring our wood down. Probably have to cross these lines because that's right against the red. Then we'd have our wheat right here. And our cattle can go to Brownsville. Crispy's making alcohol. This is what we have so far. We have a fully incorporated warehouse here with one empty slot because the wheat was already there. It's passing on meat and alcohol. So there is no cloth at the moment. We can't do anything about that vegetables we don't need yet it's got a cluster from Austin the Beaumont to Houston then down here Imam Rest is just simply shipping things out San Antonio is getting cattle it's not a warehouse our warehouse is here Texas South warehouse it's doing the same thing it is full because it doesn't have the wheat. had they bring the wheat in and it's got fruit so it would eventually send out fruit it is not hooked up to san antonio yet it is hooked up to corpus christi to brownsville brownsville's getting their cattle 
Um, we did ship them things up to there. All it has at the moment is the corn, the wheat, and that's it. As far as our plans, to run to San Antonio with a single line is going to cost 146 To go get our wood is going to be 336 So it's the most expensive. And then to get our sugar, which is way over here, it's going to be 276 So we got quite a hill to climb, I would say. According to this, we're very close to our population. You seem erratic. Go. Do I have to worry about the success of your upcoming tasks? Hmm. I would have done things differently, but I can't argue with your success. For now, keep up the good work. Our network in East Texas still needs improvement. If you do it correctly, you can make a lot of money expanding it here. Aside from the initial funds, I have no intention of subsidizing you. All right, so that's where we end things up, right there. As I said, there's a little bit of work to do. And it looks like the next thing they'll want me to go over to one of these two probably. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and come back and watch another great video of Ike and Me Gaming.